the skill of emotional rooms. Everyone has experienced anger, sadness, disappointment, and frustration. If improperly managed, these negative emotions can break a relationship, ruin a project, and even take a person's life. This is an emotion management skill that is very effective for many people. Imagine you can separate your feelings into different rooms. The skill is to simply keep different emotions in different rooms and never mix different emotions in one room. For example, you may be very frustrated with work, but once you are not on the issue, that room is closed. When you work on another project or talk to other people, your emotion will be neutral. For example, if you have three kids, when one kid makes you angry, you will not bring your anger to the other kids. Every room starts with a neutral emotion. This is not to say you should suppress your emotions. In fact, it's bad to suppress your emotions. Don't suppress. Let it out, but let it out fast. Practice the five-minute rule. That means you will not hold on to a negative emotion for more than five minutes. Well, you don't really time it, but once you have let out your emotion, you're done. You will simply keep it in the room and close it. Just remember, your emotion ends with the event. Over the time, you will learn to switch your emotions fast. Most important of all, you will learn not to bring the emotion from one room to another room. This skill will help you to overcome failures. It can be instrumental in keeping a positive mindset. If you have a spouse, let your spouse know about this skill. If your wife practices the same skill, it could work very well for your relationship. You may have an argument over certain things, but your emotions should end with that argument. Next moment, you can happily discuss where to have dinner or have fun with your kids.